everyone. My outfit looks a little weird because this is an off the shoulder shirt and I'm wearing a sweater over it, so I'm a little awkward. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Anyway, just got Sebastian off to the bus and woke up Jack's. First morning where we 100% got ready in the bathroom. It was fine, it was a hair washing day, so it was a tight schedule. So it takes, it takes me a lot longer <laughs> to wash my hair to, versus not washing my hair. So I was heading out the bathroom door as Danny was heading in. But yeah, that went smoothly. I had an email, we both had an email from a dog rescue that we're trying to help out, taking over their hosting. We hosted them ages ago and then they moved and it's just been a train wreck and now they've been having volunteers help them with their website, but it's been going on and on. I helped them at one point, but then they stopped answering. Like I did all I could without guidance. So I think they're trying to get it up live and they haven't been hearing from people and they're coming up on deadline it's already been extended so i'm like okay i'm gonna get everybody to school just let me know what you need i don't know anything about anything anymore it's been so long but i was gonna start working on painting because i feel so bad that i have that giant painting for a friend luckily i never charged her deposits so i need to at least reach out to her and say it's on my radar we're all healthy and i'm not volunteering right now but of course this popped up and on the healthy thing I was helping Sebastian with some socks that are way too big, but he wanted to wear them anyway. And he sneezed four times directly into my face, like sprayed me with his spit. I'm like, fuck, man, seriously. I try so hard not to get sick, and then he does that, and then I get sick. Like, shit, I just got healthy. Hopefully it was just allergies, but probably not. Probably not. Anyway, I'm gonna start making his lunch and breakfast and get on with the day. almost two. Sebastian gets home at like 2.22 ish. But I've been working for a few hours for a dog rescue. It is so hard to come into a site that a million different people have been working on, not you. You don't know what they've done. You don't know where it is. You don't know how it's set up. Everything needs to be updated, but you can't update everything because it needs license keys and stuff that you don't have. I'm like, ah. I'm trying, I'm trying, but yeah, basically I got the kids off to school early this morning. I had gotten an email that 
the rescue needed help. So I was like, okay, we'll get in touch after 10.30. I went straight from the middle school to the shopping center that has a dollar store. So I need to get some things. And I know they didn't open till nine, so I'm like, that's okay, there's a grocery store there. I'll just go in there and see what I got. They don't open till nine. Apparently Aldi doesn't open till nine. I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I go to my car and I wait till 9.05 to give the dollar two people plenty of time. Don't want to be annoying and be there right at the, on the dot. But I get there and the employee's outside smoking and talking on her phone and I try to open the door. She's like, oh, I'm waiting for the key. I don't have the key and I live too far away. I'm waiting for the key. So yeah, I waited out there for 20 minutes. I should have gone back to my car, but I also didn't want to. It was all the way around the corner and I couldn't turn it on because I'm almost out of gas and I need gas for today because Danny won't get gas in my car till tomorrow. <laughs> what a mess. I was freezing by the time I got in there because it was just barely 50 degrees. That was just too cold for me not to be wearing a coat. But I got in there and I got everything that I needed and then the line was long. <laughs> But I got home and then I did a video chat with the rescue, trying to figure out what they need so they can make their site live on Monday. It's a mess. But yeah, then I immediately just went into whatever I could do and didn't make it very far. I did fix one issue, getting like a pro plugin installed that they had purchased but it's like tricky when you don't know computer stuff and it says upgrade here and she signed up and upgraded and paid the huge fee to have the pro version but they email you a link you've got to download it you've got to install it I did this first it failed so I deleted it all out and deactivated the old one and tried again that works but it says you need the free version activated. So I activated it and it's like, you need the newer version. <laughs> so I tried to update it. It's like, you cannot update this until you update WordPress. And I had already sent an email saying, can I update WordPress? You have backups. What do, you, what do you want me to do? I'm not just gonna do it. And she's like, eventually I told her I need to do all this. <laughs> and it all starts with the WordPress update. So she gave me her blessing. We didn't have a backup, but it worked. And then I was able to update all the plugins and that's good to go. But their theme has updates and it's complaining about licenses and this and that. And I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like I got much done for all that. But I'm having a few fruit loops <laughs> before I head to the bus and I'm just Try not to stress out. Danny is out at a concert in Baltimore starting whenever he gets back from running errands and getting gas in his car. I have to pick up Jax from his clove, which means I'm gonna have to drag Sebastian back inside when I go because he can't be left out in the neighborhood while I'm gone. And then obviously I need to feed them and do bedtimes and stuff on my, on my own and the demo team is coming tomorrow morning to demo our bathroom, so I don't know when Dan's getting home, but there's definitely still things like on the wall, all the hardware is on the wall. I don't know if he was planning to take that down. I don't know. Yeah. All right. I'm going to eat my dry cereal in cold coffee <laughs> and then get Sebastian from the bus stop.
friends. I am going to say goodnight. This back room is so echoey. I've lived with that since I think before Sebastian was born. Don't worry, Stephanie. We'll fix the hole right away. It won't be there for years. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one big hole by lunch tomorrow, I bet. I don't know how fast they go, but I feel like they go pretty fast. I never did vacuum because I got too busy, but I have a feeling I'm going to want to vacuum after the big truck here. Uh, I wonder if we have to take the gate off. Maybe, probably. Dog is not going to be happy tomorrow. Uh, and I need to try and work on that site, which I have no idea what to do because somebody else is coming. Anyway, I've had my last business meeting with that toilet. I don't like going when the curtains are off, even though there's a tree and nobody can see in. It just freaks me out. I did have to for a while while we were waiting for the blinds and I didn't enjoy it at night. During the day, and I think back then we didn't even have leaves on the trees, which is even worse. <laughs> but yeah, it's just me and the kids, so I need to keep Izzy quiet. He's locked up right here, and I think he's currently laying beside the gate. Yeah, he's laying beside the gate, waiting to go down. Just put away my laundry that was there. I need to put those packing cubes back up. I have to pull out my step stool that I keep right there. As I go all the way up. I need to remember to close the closet after I'm done getting dressed. I do put my clothes in the bathroom the night before, so I have my basket of clothes in there, but then I come in here for a sweater. And now my earrings are here because I took out all of the old necklaces that I don't typically wear right now, but all the browns. I don't usually wear brown. And then I choose a necklace or necklaces. With the volunteer day, I put these scissors in my pocket. But right now, sanitizer and eczema cream are going in my pocket. I keep one perfume here to spritz. And I have a little mirror so I can check my jewelry. I do all this with the door closed on the final, like, five minutes before Danny's alarm goes off. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I will see you tomorrow during the madness. And, yeah. Good night. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget, wash your hands.